take control in that laning phase and really just looking through every lane so far, it's just lined up for YBB. Like earlier on, I saw Helios try to go towards mid, but still stuck at level two. It's just not confidence inspiring for the rotation. He's making his way bot at the least. That should be a more viable kill. Well, Fonte does secure first blood already though. Tian Ming going down. Uh, they could try and hope to catch up beyond here, but it seems like Helios is kind of just leaving the... the... Yeah, I mean, if you can find the draw, you'll be rather happy. TZY already waiting in the tree line. Low already hitting level 6, but can't survive if they do make the jump in. Helios just needs to land a roll, though. Nice juke out from Low, but still this round is there. Gust will be popped, but TPs are not incoming. Low is going to try and fight this one out, even getting it very far and almost taking down Helios, but he will die. In the meantime, Beyond also ends up dropping on the Beastmaster, so some kills happening across the map here from LBZS. Yes. Pretty strong start for them being 3-0. That's uh, pretty good news, like you got that higher CS Drow. Now ZZQ shows up and just gets destroyed by Dolphin. Yeah. Probably just trying to set up for 7E to find a kill, but the DP Exo fades back to full HP. Tower is set to fall, so they find more down bot here as well. Yeah, I mean, Fonte is finding a bit too much kills now, I think. 2 0 and 1 on the Lena. They do. Yeah, and they've recovered quite nicely now on LBZS to compensate for maybe just slower lanes coming out. They might be able to find something on Dolphin, but... Ah, it's pretty rough. Roll in, Lowe's gonna be the one in danger. Gust will make sure the roll does not connect on the Drow and Helios. Well, he might drop for this, and he will. Problem is, you probably are gonna lose your clockwork. TZY trying to move in for the Drow Ranger. Does actually find Lowe on the back in the tree line. Spirit Spy Siphons are there as well, and the Drow is gonna die. They'll get TZY as a trade, but it's not looking well worth it here for YBB. Is easy Q trying to get his own way out. Dolphin still trying to fight this one, but oh, they might lose their Lich now as Gore Gore does get caught. Does go down. So a bit of an interesting team fight in the mid lane. Both teams losing quite a few heroes, but ultimately fighting the Drow. It's a bit unfortunate, and that's giving this opportunity for a smoke out from LBZS now. Gore Gore and Helios. On the hunt, they have a nice collapse angle down bot, but Fonte's already caught out. Yeah, Cox there in time as well. Fonte gonna try and fight back, but gets pushed back the other way thanks to the blinding light. 7E still caught out, however, is gonna die for this. And it seems like they might even lose EZQ, though they have left him B. So EZQ somehow misses the hook onto a creep. Or that they do not give it away to the Death Prophet. And Dolphin, he will not make it there in time. So low, please get himself some double damage. Now some, uh, some quicker farming pace. Probably be happy with that. More importantly though, again, just making sure Dolphin doesn't get these free runes. Is that? That's a very nice jump in from ZZQ into the Cox pushback. That's what you wanted to see. Perfect setup from ZZQ. Understanding they've got so much damage now on this Drow with the double damage. If they can afford to just burst him down. And while ZZQ will die, it's well and truly worth it. Yeah, the area. Yeah, and you're still finding some really good farm with YBB with a space. You're still scaling up nicely on all of your cores. Lift might up. find Creepy. Yeah, Gust is there. Helios should really have no way out, but the Frost Shield and the uphill miss is going to allow him to get out of there. Low, awkward positioning, but it doesn't matter because nobody's there to aim him down. And now TZY, he will just melt to the damage output. You've reached the point where 70 has got the Spirit Vessel up, so... Damage is certainly not lacking. You do feel the presence of Drow early on here. Helios may get caught. Gaze will be there from Tian Ming. Roll away is still out, but Helios, they got the Spirit Vessel off. They just need a bit more damage, and with the Illuminate, it might just be enough. Lift is there, but no, he's still surviving. Spirit Vessel, though, has been replaced. 7E, can he get himself out? Because he's a massive target. He'll get the... Oh, it won't matter. They got the Light Strike Array. More than enough for Fonte to finish the job off. So you, you got the Earth Spirit, but you gave up your mid coral and your spot area as well. Just getting his farm, getting a bit of a shove in on the tier 2. The mobility heroes are here though. Helios, they caught. No Kong's pushback, but they got the Gust off. Still the Rolling Thunder from TZY, gonna zone them out nicely, but now the Roar comes out. Low doesn't really have the damage, needs to back out of there. Squaw Gore has joined in. TZY is still in the chase, looking for some help. 
Doesn't really have too much, but still getting the damage out. And now Dolphin comes in. That's the Ooh. big one. Low. He'll get the gust off. Has the heals coming out from 70. Still trying to run, but TZY will not leave the man alone. Dolphin still the chasing. Heal. Low does at least get the pango. And now the four star. Oh, he survives at the end. Dolphin the one to drop. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Gorgor go, go, will go. The Drow, it's all they wanted. And she gets out. Oh, that was such... Doesn't quite pay off. Nighttime Vision also didn't play any favorites there. I believe they were just outside of Vision range. So he couldn't really cast Spirit Vessel either. He might still find an opportunity ZZQ. elsewhere, though. No, oh, ZZQ runs right into the Sentry Ward with that Invis, so he's in a bit of danger, though he does have help around the corner. Gaze, though, gonna lock him down, gets the cogs off in time, and now Low can get right to work and look at the damage. My god. They melt. Props to ZZQ just getting in and making it happen. Well, they even see him as well to break the smoke coming out from LBCS. TZY immediately caught out. Hook shot from ZZQ gonna land this time, but doesn't get the cogs pushed back. So TZY gonna go for a bit of a run. Still trying to go after the clockwork, but Low is right around the corner oh with a double God. damage, though. So does get stunned up. TZY should still drop and will do so. And now the hurricane bike to the low ground. Low is perfectly fine. Fonte, he's popped his BKB. But it means nothing. In fact, Raw's going to be up in five seconds from beyond if he wants to pop it. Gore Gore also going to get caught out here on the Lich. We'll just melt to Lowe's damage. That's a triple for the Drow Ranger. And that tier 2 bottom tower, it is not set to last. It is definitely going down. Bottom line up. So it's, it's not a good feeling. You're not out of the game for LVZS, but this 9k lead is quite hard to play into. Fonte? Uh oh. Fonte lifted up. Plenty here is around to secure this kill on the Lena. He does have help in coming, but he needs it real quick because he doesn't have the BKB up. And they can try to find easy Q, but he's proven to be quite annoying this game, just surviving over and over again. Meanwhile, Lowe just picking off Helios in the mid river. And now Dolphin. Well, Dolphin's going to go for a run, but the Solar Bind is there to lock him down. It doesn't seem like there's going to be much running for him. Spirit Vessel out just to make sure he not make any plays with the Spirit Siphon. Even Gore Gore trapped up in the tree line. will go down. Godlike now for low. Skill score 10, 2, and 6. The position just wasn't quite it. If they find a favorable position to start these fights on, though, that's where things can start to go a little bit different for the side of all LBZS. So the YBB, after that rush, straight to another fight. Yeah. Roar out, mid lane, who have they got? In fact, it's not even the mid lane, it's the triangle. TZY getting caught. That'll be the tier 2 top tower to drop. In the meantime, ZZQ just playing around with Dolphin. Forcing the fight with the Exo, but this is not the fight. Dude. They're still trying, but with the vessel out, but you just have no play. Gore, Gore shows up with the Chain Frost. It literally does no damage. Which is another thing, am... right? What is it, John? Go, go, make your point before I, I complain I'm, I'm about Lich. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just this Boys, no damage anyway. Oh, here we Helios. Go. Gonna get lefted up. He's okay for now. TZY may be in a bit more danger. Gonna find his oh own way. God. Look at the damage oh from Low. He barely makes it out. But not oh. quite. TZQ, he's in again. <laughs> TZY still gonna survive. Fonte now, the one in danger, but no. They catch low on the Drow Ranger with the four stuff. Gonna save for now. Keep in mind, he still has the Aegis up. So they can keep fighting. Helios. Uh, who did he roll? Oh, on the high ground. He found Fonte. Oh, oh, that was perp from beyond. He threw the Hawk out while they were going after the Earth Spirit. GG. They've had enough. Oh yeah. boy, you can't you can't fault all these. Yes, this game was again. They got the Lena. They got a lot of heroes up front for her. The side lanes just felt like it went. What do you think about this lane? Like, do, does the Broodmother have a decent time here against the Embassy M? Does it does it go the other way? Well, what are we expecting? Feels pretty all right for the Brood. Like the Ember does have a decent time, but uh -oh. yeah, if you run down like this, you have a good time. Bushback is there, but they've got the slider fist, and that's going to be enough. Fonte able to secure first blood. Fantastic start for the Ember Spirit. Now that's what you need. You, it might. Odin, be it does save his life, but in terms of his HP, like there's only so much region he can go through. Another Tango being handed to him by Gore Gore. Meanwhile, mid lane, 
the task. Snowball back towards the creep wave. 7e trying to run. Shards block is there as well. Looks like 7e might just go down. Dolphin, he will secure the kill. Meanwhile, top, Tianming drops. Looks like Gorgor -Gor might die along with him, but no beyond. He will get frost bitten here by the CM. So Gorgor -Gor is going to deny himself off. Splits the gold between the two. No XP to go the way of beyond. I'm still happy days for LBZS. Not looking too bad here for game number two so far. And they're getting off to a decent start. I'm not sure if this is really the overwhelming start that they were looking for, though. The fact that Fonte is still having a rough lane up top, it doesn't spell the best of news. Dolphin is having a good time mid, and he is farming into the Dragonlands quite nicely. He has the power treads up, but your TA will be farming for a while. You need to stall out with your Ember and your Mars. So whether or not they can get the full space needed is another question. And go up, go up. Yeah. Gets deleted by Beyond. Fonte trying to go for a chase. Will do so, but he's taking a fair bit of damage on his way in. Bushwhack is back up. He'll get trapped up. Tips out as well from <laughs> Tian Ming. Oh, I don't know about that, man. It's he's he's level five. Like you might get the hoodwink, but you're gonna die anyway. The fact that YBB are still finding some wings, it's scary. Because this lineup just will come online a lot faster considering this laning start. Rotation. Fonte's rotated level 5. And he's come down from the safe lane down to the bottom lane to try and secure a kill onto low, but low's okay. They went in a bit too early. They had Arena up, but now they don't. TCY's gone. Uh-oh. Fonte, he's still level 5. He's going to try to do it the old-fashioned way and just walk out, but... Oh, I don't see that happening right now. Fonte will drop. And in the meantime, the top T1 tower has also dropped. Beyond takes it down as top bottom lane. Gore Gore, he's not safe. Gets caught by the shards. He will get bursted down by 7e. Oh, that's a that's a disastrous and very desperate play coming out from LBZ. And that's fair enough. That's when you really want to group up as a team. Instead, YBB will come to him. They know the Mars is around. They've got the spinaling vision. Tumblr's toy is there. 70 already in with the Warrior's Punch and the Sharpshooter to land. So they have caught the Tusk, but Snowball is up if he needs it. In fact, never mind, it is not. He did use it earlier. So, well, they get TZY, but they give up 70 for that. Not the greatest trade in the world for YBB, but it seems like they want to keep going. Question is, can they actually do so? The answer is probably not. ZZQ. He's going to sacrifice himself for that arcane rune. Sadly for him, though, never gets away with popping the overgrowth to have that lower cooldown. I suppose the intriguing part for me... You do have initiation on hand now for LBZS. They've got to play around this arena. You need to find a couple of pickoffs. You're starting to approach that desolator timing for Dolphin. You need to find that kill into Roshir. I mean, they're, they're roshing right now. Like, Lowe's doing it on his own. <laughs> YBB, nice scan here from LBZS. They'll know the Husk is in there, but they've got to get there quick. Roshan pretty darn low, but so is low. TZY, that's a nice arena. He's caught the Husk around, but no, the hills are incoming. Low will survive. He'll go back on the TZY. He'll oh take down God. the Mars. Oh, it's not looking like a good team fight. LBZS need to get out. Sorry about that. At least they kill off ZZQ. They kill off... Well, that's pretty much it. They got the Hoodwink as well, but now Fonte... He has a remnant. Beyond is on the chase. Roshan has begun once again by our Huska. And Dolphin. Dolphin is in court. They just need to get through these refraction charges. And it seems like they'll have no issue with the... Oh, whoopsie daisy. Sh Sharpshooter does not land. Won't matter. Lo just jumps in. And now with the Aegis up and the Greaves up and beyond, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to slow them down on YBB's end. Yeah, you're not going to be able to stop. Oh, low. Well, nice stuff. Was he baiting? I mean, it's going to cost TZY his life for that. It's going to be like, okay, you cancelled my TP. Congrats. <laughs> Enjoy the death. Helios going to get dived by a broodmother. Bushwhack will land. Low going to move in. Helios can actually try to run with his own spider webs, but it doesn't seem like he'll get away. Meanwhile, Gorgor Gore, Gore, also going to drop to low. Really enjoying the Husker experience right now, I'm sure LB, LBZS is. At least they got the yeah, Rubik they are. They actually baiting, because he had Aegis, there was no real reason to reset, and now he's just hunting everyone like he's lost his mind. Uh, they can't yeah. really stop him at this point until BKBs come up, which is still a long ways off. Deso just gets finished up by Dolphin, so he's got the damage output, but they need to find a way to leverage that. 
Was well, ECQ going to drop? They dropped the arena for this. Problem is, TZY is going to get spotted and snowballed on by 7e. Shards. Ooh. Whoa, that's a perfect shards. TZY, Tumblr's Toy going to save. Blink away to the north. Can they find him? White Loud does, but no, it won't be enough. They won't get the bushwhack. Meanwhile, Beyond, he's found Gore Gore. You know, this is one of those games where if you're a support, you just you just feel like disconnected, right? Because it's like, yeah. it's either Husker, Tusk, or Broodmother that's chasing you down. Or even the Hoodwink can just delete you as a CM. Like, this is one yeah, of the is... worst CM games to have to play. Yeah, it's not fun. Like, you, you would wish Muerta would would have that 10% chance to kill any unit, and you were that unit <laughs> at the moment, because it's just that tough. Oh, healing. Oopsies. No. Yeah. Oh. I, I love that 70. Yeah, I always love when players wait for the TP to about to finish <laughs> before they go for the stun. Yeah. It's the you know, give that of hope sense that gets of hope. you, you know? Yeah, you know, bring them up, crush their hopes, crush their dreams. Dota's a man game, Mike. You find every opportunity to win economically, win on the map, and win in their heads. That's how you have to play. Yeah. And then like, post look game as well. Look at post game check. Look at that. Yeah, freezing field, very nice, Gorgor. Cool, cool. Bye bye. Ah. Oh. Yeah, Dolphin, do not go there, sir. I don't know. But can you actually fight? ZZQ, he's got the overgrowth if they want it. Bushwhack's gonna go through all those refraction charges quite quickly, it. and now the overgrowth. No, they didn't even need it. 70 just moves in. I mean, I appreciate Jeez. they're trying to salvage the, the situation, but as the TA who's gonna carry the game, right now you've just gotta farm BKB. Uh, even if they did have five acts, I don't know <laughs> if you can really stop this with two lives. It's. <laughs> Just some angry dude. Oh, oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's all right. TZY has gone. You know, sometimes things just don't go right. Just, these things happen. Low. You know, you're getting husked, John. Things get a little bit frantic when you're playing. It's a hus what he's doing? It's loud as well. Helios will tie. Double kill for low. And if there's one way to lose the final series of Division 2 for yourselves, it's probably against the Husker. Like, that's the most depressing way. And there you go. GG's called. LBZS have had enough. Two a big IBB, which does mean that they will go undefeated in terms of series. I believe they only dropped one game for Division 2.